Hey y'all, it's your girl Sho and welcome back to another vlog. In case I have any new people that are watching, so hey, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave my handle on the screen. And without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Hey y'all. So today is Monday, September 5th, and I just wanted to check in with y'all. So today I was actually supposed to go to this little day party, uh, the same place that I went to for the Drake night with um, sold out dates. Yeah, I was supposed to do that, but I'm probably not gonna do that because I actually want to kind of prepare myself. Um, I have a job interview actually uh, on Wednesday, but um, it's kind of, I want to say it is an actual job interview, but it's low key kind of like informal because it's just like a phone call. But I still want to like prepare myself because I haven't really interviewed for something in a while and it has to do with UX. So I kind of just want to make sure I'm like well prepared. This morning I did some research on the company and I kind of just took notes of like things that I liked about, you know, this organization. Um, and why I think I'd be a good fit. So I kind of like wrote a little bit in my notebook. So I'm gonna go over that. But right now I'm actually about to go to Office Depot. I wanna go and print something out. So I'm just gonna go do that. And then I'll probably talk to y'all in a little bit. <laughs> hey y'all, so I just got back in from Office Depot. And I didn't even tell you, I went there to go print out something that I needed. I have to drop off some documents tomorrow early in the morning, like running some really quick errands before work. So I just wanted to get that printed out today so that I didn't have to worry about tomorrow since I would only have like an hour to get that done before work. And like with driving and stuff, um, I'll probably be home with like 10 minutes to spare or something. So I just wanted to knock it out. So actually, I really am not going to that event tonight at all. I'm a little bummed, just a little, because I just feel like, dang, like, this is why I need to get out more, because I be feeling, like, social anxiety, and I honestly think it's because I spend so much time alone, so anytime there's, like, something to, like, you know, go out and be social, I try to participate, but, um, yeah, I'm just not gonna do it today, because my friend is not coming with me, and I kind of just don't want to go by myself, so yeah <laughs> also um i feel like my energy has totally just come down a little like i feel like y'all can hear it in my voice um uh, i don't know i hope i feel better like later this week but i don't know ever since like saturday i was just like kind of frustrated and annoyed um it's just annoying like it's hard for me to elaborate but if you know you know but um i'm trying not to be i'm trying not to beat myself up about it because i realize that um i'm human and you know no one's perfect and we all kind of like just have human error so it's like i don't it's not like i did anything wrong or like it's not like that person was like a bad person or anything like that i'm just feeling like dang like uh Hey, good morning, y'all. Honestly, just felt like I had something in my eye. But anyway, um, today is September 6th. And I just wanted to come and talk to y'all this morning because honestly, I've just been reflecting and this is actually so hard for me to do right now, like what I'm about to get into because I was just realizing some stuff and I'm just like, okay, like, you know, I was just reflecting over like the last couple of days, especially since I kind of had shared in my last vlog about how when I met that guy the other day and like how the encounter went, it was really just so uncomfortable for me. I kept saying like how embarrassed I was and um, how I just felt like it was a really awkward experience and it just made me realize that, um, you know, there's other parts of myself that I'm still kind of like working through and like it was only because of that situation that I was able to like be like, okay, wow, like still got some stuff here that needs work. So I just wanted to be transparent with y'all because um, I don't know, this is something that's currently going on with me. And honestly, if I'm able to just use my YouTube channel as an outlet, um, I can definitely, you know, get through this. And I think the one thing I will say is because I tend to say, that I feel embarrassed about stuff a lot. And I guess 
I've just come to terms with like that feeling of embarrassment is really just an uncomfortable feeling for me because I make it a negative feeling, but it doesn't have to be a negative feeling. It could really just be like, oh, like that was just a little moment where I just didn't feel the most comfortable, but like, it's not embarrassing. It's just, oh, that just kind of felt weird. And it's not embarrassing because nothing is embarrassing unless I really believe it is embarrassing. So I'm just realizing that I need to do better at like reframing or just flipping the way I view things. I feel like sometimes the way I view things, while I am a really positive person, sometimes I have like these intrusive negative thoughts. And so I kind of view things in like a shameful or like embarrassing way when really it was just like, oh, that just happened. Like it's really not that deep. And um, sometimes I'm, still uncovering that I give meaning to stuff that meaning does not need to be given to, <laughs> if that makes sense. So anyway, um, I realized that and so I've just been trying to do some shadow work actually and I'm gonna go ahead and thank my sister Beej for the shadow work stuff. Like when me and my sister talk on FaceTime a lot, she's always talking about how like right now she's like in her shadow work phase. Like she, all she really talks to me about is shadow work, shadow work and how she's just doing so much work on herself, which I think is great. Um, I definitely feel like because she's 23, she's in that phase of like so many like life transitions and changes. So I feel like at that age, like that's when you start trying to do that. And that's how it was for me too. But right now it's so crazy because I just turned 27, as y'all know. And honestly, to me, 27 feels like 23.23 or something like that. 23.5 or I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But basically, it just feels like I'm reliving my 23-year-old self in a way because, um, I don't know, I've just been really trying to understand myself better because I thought I understood myself and now I'm kind of feeling like there's some more layers here honestly and like um I'm just trying to be super transparent and I'm sharing this with y'all because I'm trying to use this as a uh, exercise and something for myself because this is something that I'm really struggling with and like I hope y'all know like this is not easy for me to do um and I'm just trying to be honest with myself. I feel like one thing I have acknowledged is that I don't think my healing journey is ever gonna end. Like I feel like I'm still healing every day and I'm still learning, that's true. But um, more recently I've just been like, wow, like I'm still like, I'm still trying to like recover from whatever happened to me or what made me a certain way because it actually does take a long, long time. And it's crazy because I really have been working on this since 23, I would say. And now I'm 27, so 24, 25, 26, 27. It's really been like four years, but I'm still like growing. And um, I don't know, I definitely felt badly um, recently, like since I was just reflecting over so much stuff, I was really feeling so badly for myself. But um, I just need to remember to have grace for myself because I realize that sometimes I actually am not being kind to myself. And like, that's why it's probably really difficult for me to navigate these interactions that I have with people because I'm battling internally. Like I'm battling, <laughs> I'm battling with something internally even still. So it's just kind of frustrating though, but I'm allowing myself here to be honest that yeah, I'm still kind of like trying to get through and navigate my life right now. So I don't know. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, this was so hard for me to do because I think sometimes I actually lie to myself and I tell myself like, you know, you're not, you're not dealing with things, but you are. I don't know. And then low key being so self-aware to the point where like, Sometimes I feel like I'm too self-aware to the point where um, it's causing me to really like overanalyze everything I do. And in doing that, I'm trying to like uh, be like this perfect person, but I can't be perfect. So low key, like, I don't know if anybody's gonna get this, but like, uh, this is really what I've been dealing with recently. Like, I don't know why. Actually, I won't say I don't know why. I kind of do know why, but I'm just like, damn, like it just sucks. Like, I really just feel like I really, I don't know. I know healing and growth isn't linear, but right now I'm feeling like I'm at like a plateau is what I'll say. 
but yeah i just wanted to like talk to y'all really quickly and i hope y'all are having a great day i hope y'all have a great week a great work week a great week whatever and i will talk to y'all soon that way i get to enjoy and experience life to the full today the door is open for all opportunities for me i really am very special i like who i am and i feel good about myself although i always work to improve myself and i get better every day i like who i am today and tomorrow when i'm even better I like myself then too. It's true that there really is no one else like me in the entire world. There never was another me before. I approve of me and I approve of who I am. I have many beautiful qualities about me. I have talents and skills and abilities. I even have talents that I don't even know about yet. And I am discovering new talents inside myself all the time. I am positive person living at a very special time. I am intelligent. Hey y'all, um, <laughs> I, oh, let me lower this, can y'all see me? So, <laughs> I go back to work in one more minute, but I just wanted to like pop in really quick, y'all haven't seen me, I'm sorry for the loud, um, what are they doing, what are they doing, the lawnmower, they're, they're mowing the lawn right now, um, but yeah, y'all have not seen me, but I just wanted to pop in really quick. It's Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. So yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I'm going to kind of give y'all, you know, I'm going to let y'all know what's going on. But yeah. I was in the rain. We got a dance in the rain. Hey, that's it. Man, my money do that with a kick. We know we take your wrist. I can't rub my wrist. You know that I'm getting my blade. I'm fucking a bitch for the sick. Hey y'all, so I just got back home from doing a quick little grocery shopping run. Um, you know, I had work, got off work. I just love closing the week out on Friday. Like, I just be like, TGI Friday. Like, I can finally say that because first of all, I never used to work on Fridays when I worked anyway. I never worked on Fridays because my old jobs used to always have me working on the weekends because I had to work on the weekends. So I deliberately always made sure my schedule did not include me working on a Friday because to me, my Friday was my weekend. <laughs> but anyway, um, just got back from the grocery store. I'm about to actually, you know, put some food in the oven because I do not feel like cooking. So I just bought some, um, like frozen stuff like I'm gonna make some french fries and these like uh plant-based chicken nuggets or chicken plant-based nuggets what <laughs> whatever some plant-based nuggets so I'm gonna eat that for my dinner I guess um probably try to also make a smoothie because uh y'all I really have just not been eating properly this week like I've just been so like stressed out my eating habits this like this week um, kind of tied into last week because to be honest like since I wasn't working out like for me personally if I don't work out my appetite pretty much doesn't exist because um, even though like of course I'll be hungry I just feel like going to the gym makes me more hungry so I really haven't been eating like that at all which sucks because I think in the last vlog I literally told you like if it wasn't the last vlog it was the vlog before that vlog that I literally gained all the weight back that I lost but baby when I tell you I done lost it again because I wasn't eating so anyways yeah I'm about to go do that and um y'all just saw me dancing to crank by yeet honestly I don't know what it is actually I do know what it is but there's just something about this guy's music like it just brings me back to like I don't even know how to describe that period of my life but like when I was in college young when I used to go to Montgomery College and I used to ride the bus like before I was driving and I used to just listen to Lil Uzi Vert all the time I also loved Travis Scott too so I don't know it gives me like that grungy like fun like rebellious vibe so that song really did it for me but I really do love him as an artist like I feel like his music is so good um, or I personally, I like his music. I enjoy listening to his music. So yeah, wanted to also let y'all know. So this, like this eye has been bothering me. Like, um, 
I don't know, like this eye just has been bothering me. Like I had LASIK and um, what am I trying to get at? Basically, I feel like my eye is kind of like losing or like it's become really blurry like in this inner part and like I feel like my eyes look really red and um, they just feel, well, this eye specifically feels very exposed. Like it just feels like, I don't really know how to put it into words, but something just, something just doesn't feel right with my eye. Like even right now, as I'm looking at the camera, I just feel like right in here, something's like missing. It feels like bare. Like my, my eye physically feels bare, but like in this area, I feel like it's like a slight blur. And I'm just like, what is that? So um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on. And hopefully it's nothing serious because somebody like me, I don't know, uh, I just feel like I'm such a worrier. Like I get really like worked up and like nervous about stuff for like no reason but like honestly i'm not sure what's going on with my eye it just feels so weird to me and um i don't know when i was watching that clip back i was just like why does my eye look like that hey y'all uh, i'm gonna try to put the kitchen light on i don't know if that made a difference but i wanted to show y'all what i picked up at the grocery store so to start off i got this mixed greens i got these mixed greens I never tried this brand before, but I had a coupon, so I was like, let me just try it because I really want to try to make a salad with the shrimp. I got some frozen shrimp um, that was deveined, and it seems like it's the jumbo size, so let me put that in the freezer. And I also picked up, this is what I was telling you about, I picked up these plant-based nuggets, so I got this, ooh, so I got the spicy kind. And I got the regular kind. I already made the regular kind. It's in their baking right now. So I'll just see how it tastes and I'll let y'all know. Also picked up some french fries. You know, just some standard french fries. I wanted to eat it with the nuggets. So I'm excited to eat that. And I also picked up some Parmesan cheese. This brand, Parmesan cheese. Let me try to make it focus. There we go. This brand Parmesan cheese is it. It is so good. So I'm going to try to make a salad with the greens and the shrimp and with this. And I have some tomatoes in the fridge. So I'm going to try to make a salad tomorrow. And then I also just picked up another uh, vegan mayo um, from Hel like the Hellman's brand. This is the one I always get. This stuff is so expensive and it's just crazy to me because... Um, Honestly, this mayo tastes like regular mayo, so it's just like a wonder to me that this isn't just regular mayonnaise, you feel me? And I'm a mayonnaise type of girl, like I don't like making sandwiches that are dry. I like my sandwiches to have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of something in there <laughs> because I always, you know, just grew up putting mayonnaise on my bread and I just love how that tastes, so I get the vegan kind. And yeah, like I was saying, it's really expensive. Like I used to pay five something for this or probably like five dollars on the dot I think it was like $4.99 but after inflation it's now $6.69 and I think that's crazy but I saved 50 cents today so I was just like let me get it because I actually kind of need it so that's what I got from the grocery store a little grocery store haul but I'm gonna talk to y'all when my food's done because I'm just waiting for that to be ready that sounds fun Definitely want to travel more and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard that's how it is for Thailand, too. No, Nia. When I tell you, you know he... <laughs> Am I ever going to meet somebody that's going to just, like, be able to just understand me, you know? <laughs>
so I'm back home and before I end the vlog I just wanted to tell y'all like um, I did come home from the eye doctor and he didn't give me a prescription for anything but he gave me like you know this little thing it's basically some cortisol cortisol drops cortisone drops I don't know how to say the word but whatever the thing um, basically these little drops are gonna help me with like my eye irritation um, he said that he didn't see anything like wrong with my eyes like anything that would cause concern like serious concern he just said that he could see like my eyes are really red and they seem really irritated so he said these should help me and he said you know just use up the drops and like you know um, if I'm still having issues just to call them back and stuff so that's great but like yeah this is gonna be the end of the vlog hope y'all enjoyed anyway thank y'all so much for supporting me thank you guys so much for the new subscribers i saw that i had like a couple new subscribers and i'm literally three subscribers away from 100 so maybe i'll get to 100 really soon but um yeah thank y'all so much for the support um i really appreciate it and y'all are gonna get another vlog next week so stay tuned so yeah and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!